Today we are very happy to uh, welcome Ms. Yumi from ELS Language Center Canada. Mm -hmm. So first of all, can you introduce a little about your school? Yes, uh, ELS Language Center started in the U.S. in 1961 and we have about 65 centers in the U.S. and two centers in Canada and one center in Australia. Um, it's uh, most of the schools in the U.S. are in university campuses, so we provide ESL programs to international students and then they will be prepared to go to the university and colleges. Yeah, and then we, so we have the reputation for really strong curriculum and we use our uh, ELS plan textbooks and yeah, students are very successful in the universities. Yeah, so what are some special features of your school? Yeah, I kind of mentioned it <laughs> uh, in the last question, but we have a really strong curriculum. Yeah. And for ELS Canadian centers, especially um, students are very, very happy with us because it's not a really big school. It's like a maximum 200 to 300. So students get really good um, education, but also they have the personal support. And we uh, teachers are really, really good and they really care about students' progress. And we do care about students' uh, success. So yeah, and anyone who wants to study hard and want to be prepared for the university, but want to stay in a more like a medium-sized school, it's really really good for them. I think. Yes. Do you have any requirements to international students? Yes, they should be. Um, there's an age requirement. They should be 16 years old yes. or older. But we do have a youth program in the sum in summer and winter. In the case, student can be 13 years old and up, but basically 16 years old is the minimum um, yes. age requirement. So, do you provide any scholarship to Vietnamese students? Yes. Um, I don't remember the price <laughs> on yes. top of my head. But yes, uh, until the end of this year, student, uh, we are um, offering a scholarship for Vietnamese students. So yeah, please join us. Yeah. Yes. So how about accommodation and mm -hmm. some activities for international students? Right, so we provide homestay is the cheapest option and uh, easiest option to um, uh, adjust uh, in Canadian culture, I think. Yes. And in Vancouver, we have some apartment options and residence style hotels but it's pretty expensive. So most of the students come to um, ELS, they stay in a homestay for a couple of months and then they find their uh, share apartment or share house. It's pretty easy to find one. Yeah, or oh, in the activity, yes, we have a full-time activity coordinators in the, each center, Toronto and Vancouver. Yes. So we plan lots of activities after school and on the weekends. And for Vancouver, um, Rocky Mountain tour, which is three nights, is really popular. And in Toronto, Niagara Fall tour, day tour is really popular. And three days to New York and three days to Montreal is really popular. Thank you very much for your new food information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and once thank again for your coming today. I hope you are like helpful and successful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Bye. Goodbye.